The latest update just dropped in regards to the Mr. Beast drama. Known for his many challenge videos and game shows, Mr. Beast is on the brink of losing the game of YouTube. With updates happening every so often, let's quickly take a look at what happened for things to lead up to this, and then look at this crazy new update that, well, is making Mr. Beast look like a Avengers level villain. Buckle up, because things are getting wild. The first controversy that set off this avalanche began last month. On July 21st, content creators started circulating shocking claims against Ava Chris Tyson, a longtime collaborator and personal friend of Mr. Beast. Tyson, then 20, allegedly sent inappropriate messages and lewd comments to a 13-year-old fan, Lava GS, in a public Discord channel eight years ago. Both Tyson and Lava GS have confirmed these interactions happened. Lava GS publicly stated that he did not consider it grooming, but Tyson took to her ex account to apologize. By July 23rd, Tyson announced she would be leaving the Mr. Beast brand. On July 24th, Mr. Beast made a statement of his own, saying that he had hired an independent investigation agency to go through the available evidence. In the wake of this controversy, others came forward with criticism of Donaldson and his operation. This included a YouTube video from a person describing themselves as a former Mr. Beast employee who discussed their discomfort with a YouTube channel of Mr. Beast's size actively promoting itself and trying to garner loyalty from an audience that includes a lot of children. The viewer to associate the brand with trust and authority. Mr. Beast videos are real and he's a great guy that gives away big rewards to his loyal followers. I will show you irrefutable evidence in a minute that his videos are in fact fake. Step two is showing the viewers that when people interact with Mr. Beast in a way that benefits Mr. Beast, when they do what he tells them to do, they win big rewards. Is he subscribed? You are subscribed. Here's some money. Have a good day. <laughs> some of them feel like I just walk around with a thousand dollars. It's like, oh, thanks for watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button because you might bump into me in real life and it might make you a lot of money. When people are devout followers of Mr. Beast, they get rewarded. And step three is finally calling on the viewer to act in some way that benefits the brand. Promising big rewards in return. Now it's your turn to do what Mr. Beast tells you and you will win big rewards. But you actually won't unless you're famous or friends or family of a Mr. Beast employee. So you know if anything happens last second, it's fake. Or if you can hear someone's voice but can't see their mouth, the audio could easily be added in post. I literally think I'm gonna kill you. And yes, this lie detector video was also fake. Have you ever faked a video? No. Take that lie. Uh, it's still real to me, damn it! Okay, so Mr. Beast fabricates some contestant dialogue and timers and movements and storylines and uses a bunch of shitty CGI, but who really cares? I mean, the videos are just for entertainment only, right? I mean, it's not like he's ever rigged the results of a challenge. That would be impossible because he films with hundreds of random subscribers, right? Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. His friends signing limited edition shirts, celebrating 40 million subscribers. Uh, and here are just some of the clips from that stream. For, for those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of our limited edition uh, 40 mil special shirts, we're celebrating 40 million subscribers with a really big video, then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this. In 10 minutes, right, because we gotta give them time to, to do their car, we'll give Two orders, five hundred dollars each. Five right. minutes, someone's getting three grand in their someone, order. In five minutes, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna put a thousand dollars in a random order. Two minutes, newest order gets two thousand dollars. Good luck, everybody. So this was a six-hour live stream. Uh, they took it down off YouTube, but five hours of it are still up on their Facebook page. Uh, and during those five hours, I counted forty-six illegal lotteries. These lotteries are also run poorly multiple times. They would say something like, buy in the next five minutes for a chance to win. And then seven minutes later go, actually, the newest order in 30 seconds is gonna win. In five minutes, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna put $1,000 in a random order. Hey, Daryl, don't we owe someone $1,000? We do. Yeah, so, all right, so the newest order in 30 seconds, we are gonna put $1,000 in your package. Steven, uh, Steven K. Okay. Oh. Steve Steve. And there is no second giveaway 30 seconds later, like Jimmy said. Uh, this is just one very shady giveaway. Uh, they just go on to talk about how Steven made a profit. Steven's a handsome name. So he actually... 
walked away with some money. Those are just a few examples, and I would highly recommend watching the full video on Dogpack's YouTube channel. The video describes Mr. Beast as a fraud and says that his giveaways are often a game of smoke and mirrors designed to excite and entice children. The video also mentioned a time that Donaldson courted controversy by encouraging customers to volunteer and stock, organize, and monitor the shelves for his Feastables chocolate to ensure the promotion was as successful as possible. Dog Pack 404 also claimed that the contestants for Mr. Beast's game show style videos are mostly from his own social circles, and that a lot of the content is staged. A current Mr. Beast employee did hit back, saying some of these claims were bogus, but by then, the allegations had already spread like wildfire. And then there's Beast Games, an Amazon reality TV series that's kind of like Squid Game. It's been slammed for being a total mess, with reports of poor planning and not enough medical staff. And in the latest update, with all this heat, Mr. Beast's legal team sent a cease and desist notice to Dog Pack 404, basically telling them to shut up or face the consequences. But Dog Pack 404 wasn't having any of it. Dog Pack 404 posted the notice and made a hilarious response, and now the public is totally on his side. Some people are even talking about crowdfunding his legal defense. But wait, there's more. Dog Pack 404 claims his phone number was leaked and he's been getting threatening messages. He even thinks Mr. Beast's team might be trying to discredit him. Dog Pack 404 isn't backing down. In his final tweet, he said, not backing down. Ready for round two. Hash stay tuned. Looks like there's more dirt to spill and everyone's on the edge of their seats. So what do you think? Is Dog Pack 404 exposing real issues or is this just a case of sour grapes? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you want to stay in the loop with all this drama and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Trust me, you won't want to miss what happens next.